If you dears have combination skin and are living in a hot and humid country, suddenly you have lots of rashes forming, your dry areas become more dry and skin become more sensitive and behave abnormally, then you might like to watch this video to find out how to cope with it. Hello dears, welcome to Beauty with a Heart. I'm Lily, also known as Lulu. Today I'll be sharing with you my current daytime skincare routine for my abnormal skin right now. So let's get started. Dears, just to let you know my normal and abnormal skin conditions so that you can judge better. My normal skin condition is I have combination skin, oily T zone, dry U zone, and if you can see there's lots of clock pores around the cheeks area. I think my camera is too kind on me, it doesn't show up. Thank goodness. And there's lots of vein over here, you can see the color. Dark circle, open pores in the forehead, and what else? Lines here. I know a lot of you dears are very kind to me. I always compliment that my skin is flawless. I also hope that it's flawless. But if you were to stand face to face with me, then you'll realize that my skin is not flawless after all. But what more can I ask for? I've mentioned in my previous video since last month, October, my skin has been behaving very abnormally. There's lots of rashes. Again, the camera can't really pick up. My U zone become more and more dry and very tight feeling. And because of the dryness, my clock pores area is very obvious. It's more textured, more lumpy. And I don't feel comfortable with my skin because it's really very tight. Well, this is not the first time I have abnormal skin condition. This is the third time. The first time was when I was in my early 20s. I had the opportunity to go to Japan for training and that was during the winter time. I live in a hot and humid country where we have summer all year round. So I was very excited to go and experience winter. Because of that, I bought a series of rich and hydrating products to apply. But after the first week, my skin broke out. Again, it's not pimples. It's the rashes, the dryness, the lines. So I stopped using the products for a while. I don't think it's just the product's performance, but also my skin cannot cater to the change of the climate. And instead, I don't know what got into me. I use hand cream on my face instead. Because on the tube of the hand cream, it stated it helps to repair the skin. And it works. So about two weeks later, my skin recovered. Whoa. And from there, I suspect that actually our skin doesn't know how to differentiate between a hand cream and a body lotion and a facial cream. Let alone, I don't think they can also recognize what is day cream and night cream. I guess it's after all marketing effect. So my second time where my skin behaved abnormally was in my early 30s. I guess the reason was because I overuse a lot of products. It becomes over nutritious for my skin. I use like a few facial masks a day and a lot of new products. It's overloaded so my skin cannot take it. Back then, my situation is worse. I have peeling skin, rashes, dry U zone, lines in the forehead and the eyes. The lines make me look like I'm in my 50s. The skin is peeling off. It becomes very uncomfortable because I can feel the tightness. So, I rest my skin for a while without taking any skincare products. Now, I'm in my late 30s. And fortunately, this abnormal period only lasts for quite a short while, for about a month. And probably I'm more aware and know how to deal with it. So, I quickly adjust my skincare steps and also the products. My usual daytime skincare steps involves in scrubbing, cleansing, applying mask, toning, applying various serums and facial oils, eye care 
and moisturizer. For moisturizer, it will have to depend on my skin condition. Because I realized a few years back, I've been applying facial oil and moisturizer together. And under the hot and humid weather, actually it's too moisturizing for my skin and that's probably why I got a lot of clot pores. It's too rich. And followed by the last step which is the sunblock. But because of the abnormality right now, I reduce all my skincare to the basic skincare steps. I've also stopped using my current skincare products as mentioned previously. Most of the products are from Korea. And Korean products, although it's very good, it has a lot of fragrance inside which may cause irritation to my skin. I also reduce products that contain alcohol because I'm afraid that it will dry up my skin further. Because right now, what my skin wants is moisture and hydration. So now I've changed all my products to almost all natural and cruelty-free products. So I'm sharing with you right now what is my current skincare routine? This is the fourth week my skin behaves abnormally, but right now it's recovering. So I'm adding a bit more products at a time to my skincare routine. For my first three weeks, I will only use cleanser, toner, eye cream, and moisturizer. I didn't apply sunblock because the, my sunblock contains alcohol. So this is the fourth week and my skin is getting better and better. So I'm adding more products and more steps to my skincare routine now. So the first step is this Himalaya Gentle Exfoliating Apricot Scrub. I just bought it last week and used it for about the fifth time. And it's very gentle on me and very moisturizing. It has vitamin E, apricot, with germ oil to moisturize and also to remove the blackheads and clogged pores. So I will demonstrate right now. When my skin is very sensitive, I will avoid scrubbing because it may be too harsh on my skin. But currently, because my skin is better, so I'm testing water whether I can use it. Use the scrub now. And this is very gentle, so I use it for almost every day for the past week. I just apply and use the tip of the finger to scrub and concentrate in the areas where there's lots of clogged pores and blackheads. This is very moisturizing and exactly what my skin needs. Feels very comfortable. Avoid the eye area because our eye is very sensitive and fragile. The skin around our eyes is like a piece of tissue that is very thin. So you must really handle with care. Okay, apply some also on the neck area. I bought this scrub at my nearby supermarket. It's about $8.90 sing dollar. Let me pause now for a while. I'm gonna wash this away. I'm back! Yes, when you want to use the towel to wipe your face, just gently pat it on the skin. Like this. Don't rub like this because this is a very rough action. You'll tear away the skin tissue and pull the skin apart. Just gently dab in the motion like this. Pat dry. And follow by the next step. After scrubbing, use the Sukin Forming Cleanser. It's finishing soon already. Again, use the fingertips to spread the cleanser and massage and cleanse in a circular motion. I've used this Forming Cleanser many years ago. It's not so for me because it doesn't contain SLS. I'll write down a list of what Suki products doesn't contain. Suki seems very natural. It's organic and it doesn't cost the earth. Their price range is very reasonable. And there's no animal testing, it's 100% vegan. And so far, I've used their other products for about I mean, two weeks. And after using this brand, I keep buying some of their other products which work comfortably on my troubled skin right now. Okay, please.
please wait a while. I'll go and wash this away. I just bought this hydrating toner mist yesterday. I have been spraying this for quite a number of times already because it feels very comfortable on my skin. This toner contains no alcohol and no paraben. It combines chamomile and rose water to soothe and tone the skin. No wonder when I spray, I can smell the roses. Take a distance away and close the eyes before spraying. Take a deep breath to smell the roses. You can use this spray before or after makeup. And this can also be used in the aircon room and you can spray as many times as you want to. Wait for it to dry, then apply the next skincare step. After toner, my usual steps will be applying various serums. But not for now because I do not want to overload my skin with so much products. So instead, right now, I'm applying this Soaking Antioxidant Eye Serum. Just press one palm onto the fourth finger. Like this. And spread around the eyes area. It's important to use the fourth finger to massage the eye products into the skin. The eyes area because the fourth finger has the least pressure. The skin around our eyes area is as thin as a piece of tissue paper. That's why apply gently so that you wouldn't tear the skin apart and create more lines. So gently apply in circular motion and massage. This eye serum feels actually quite thick. Thicker than I expected because previously I was using the L'Oreal serum. That L'Oreal serum is actually very fluid and very watery. So this soaking eye serum has a totally different texture. You'll take a bit of time to massage and for the eyes to absorb in the products. But it feels very comfortable on my eyes. And for the first two weeks, I've been applying about two to three layers of eye serum on my eyes because it's what my skin needs. It's very thirsty. I apply this eye serum day and night. And then you can just tap around. I don't think the camera can pick up. But from the mirror, from what I see, the skin here instantly got smoother, more hydrated, more plump. The lines is less obvious. Anyway, this eye serum claims to soothe the skin. It has aloe vera and cucumber and bodok. It has different plant proteins to offer deep rehydration to the delicate eye area. There's rose hip, evening prime rose and borage oils to help to improve the skin elasticity and texture and reducing the appearance of lines and wrinkles. No wonder I feel that it's very smooth. All Sukin products has no added fragrance. It smells very natural. And my last step of the day care routine. This is the Sukin Hydrating Day Cream. It has rose hip oil, pomegranate, kakado plum for moisturizing effect and to prevent the signs of premature aging. And vitamin C. It will help to leave your skin look more radiant, smoother, and hydrated. Again, for the first two weeks of use, I actually use more than one layer because my skin is really very dry, and I use a lot of amount. But right now, because my skin is much better now, I will just take maybe a scoop like this. It doesn't come with this spatula. I took this from Sephora. The first two weeks when I use this, I use it as a day cream and night cream. Spread around the face. My nose is oily, so I don't usually put moisturizer straight onto the nose. 
If there's remaining, then I will apply. So apply in a circular motion, massaging the products into the skin. Texture is quite thick. For hot and humid weather, it will feel actually quite moisturized and rich. But after some time, say about half an hour later, my skin absorbs all the moisture and feels very comfortable. Massage the products on the neck. Yes, you must always remember to apply the products also on the neck because neck is also one of the areas to tell how old you are as often neglected. Okay, this is my massaging steps. I watch it somewhere. Press the temples here for the detox purpose. This is the such. And there's also pressure point around here. It helps the detox also. the chin so that your face will become more v-shaped you can do a set of 10 and depends on you how many sets you want to do Not sure if you can see, after applying the moisturizer, my skin become more glowy. <laughs> okay, that's all for my daytime skincare routine. Oh yeah, forgot. And lip balm. This lip balm is from Nature Solution. It's a Singapore brand. The ingredients seems all natural. It contains sunflower oil coconut oil, bee wax, jojoba oil, almond, sweet cocoa butter, sheer nut butter, evening primrose oil, vitamin E, rose geranium essential oil, rose cowling clay, and beetroot. But I'm not sure whether this is cruelty free because back then I wasn't into cruelty free products. I very dry lips so I must always keep it moisturized okay that's all for my daytime skincare routine for my usual daytime skincare I will end it with sunblock but because my sunblock that's from the body shop the whitening range it contains alcohol so for the time being I will stop using for a while maybe I will start it again next week but my skin is much much better now for the health aspect well, I'm not very good in this area, the health area, because I don't have any medical knowledge. This is what I realized. Last month, October, my father was hospitalized and he's still in the hospital. And that's why my emotions go up and down, up and down. That affects my hormone and I guess that affects my skin condition as well. So whatever happens on the inside of our body, it will reflect out to the skin. Knowing that, we must be aware of what happens inside us, our emotions, our craving. And I realized during this period, I keep having craving for French fries, deep fried stuff. I googled it and maybe you dears can also google it as well. Different food craving means that we lack of certain nutrition or certain food. And in my case, it's lacking of sugar. And lacking of something also means that we are in a certain emotional state. Once we know what kind of emotional state we are in, we can zoom into this area and solve the root issue. And taking plenty of water is definitely a very good way. It helps to detox our body and makes our skin clearer. And now I realize there's a pimples here. 
When our emotions are going up and down, it will be good for us to take in some simple, plain food. Steamed fish, steamed vegetables, and soupy stuff. Because these are the food that is easily digestible and easily absorbed into our body. It doesn't create more stress and also, if possible, when we are feeling stressed up or feeling down, we can find a place for us to recharge our positive energy and discharge our negative energies. Or you can do some activities that makes you happy. Most importantly, if possible, keep a happy mind. Alright, hope this video is useful to you. And remember, remember, our inner well-being affects our outer appearance. So last but not least, here's an inner beauty tip for us to cultivate together or hope to add some inspiration and some warmth to you. Beauty is about being comfortable in our own skin. It's about knowing and accepting who we are. Hope you like this video. If you do, please help me to like this video, comment, subscribe, and click the bell button below for notification of my future videos. Thank you very much for your help. May you dears have a peaceful, blissful, and joyful week ahead. See you next time. Bye.